I just woke up like 10 minutes ago and realized that I still have to make the patch notes video and I read the patch notes and I wish I could go back to sleep and pretend I never read the patch notes because I am very upset for one specific reason. Paladin was kind of nerfed again, but not like directly. Okay, anyway, this is another episode of Patch Notes in 90 seconds, but this one's not gonna be in 90 seconds because it's just not. This is for the, uh, what is this for again? Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 22nd. Patch Notes for PC. Yeah, okay. All right, so you remember when I said that it was a really great thing that you could pre preemptively cast critical touch related heals with big shields before boss fights so that you like you know wouldn't die immediately uh, they're taking that away although apparently you can still proc it sometimes due to the regeneration healing attempts or something like that uh, but you can't proc critical cri uh, you can't proc critical touch whenever you're using an offensive action without a target anymore and I am quite sad about this because this was one of the most convenient and one of my most favorite things about Paladin healing. As I think I've said a couple of times, it's one of the most convenient things and uh, now it's going bye-bye because it's too good. They don't like that I used it all the time and suggested it as a very good tip. Anyway. Now that I've cried about that for five minutes, I can move on to the everything else, because this week's patch is actually pretty beefy. Sort of. So, first things first, the required item level for Tomb of the Nine Gods and Castle Ravenloft and Cradle of the Death God have been increased. Tong is now 16,000, and the other two are 18,000, and also... The Rune Master Lady in the Yawning Portal found her missing stock of rune etched orbs because apparently she forgot to bring them with her to Mod 17, so she wasn't selling them and now she's selling them again. Woo. Then they changed a bunch of stuff about the Tower of the Mad Mage again. Actually, only like four things, but you know. And in one of the Stardock expeditions, the Dragon Knight boss is now immune to CC because they forgot about him whenever they were making bosses immune to CC. Okay. Right, so along with the Paladin change that I am not happy with, we've got a couple other changes. One to the Sentinel Paragon, uh, I can't speak, of Barbarian, and the Vanguard Paragon of Fighter. And then another Paladin one, that, that one's okay. So the other Paladin one, just to get it out of the way, is uh, the Circle of Divinity thing said it lasts for 16 seconds and it was reduced to 12 seconds in Mod 17. They just never updated the tooltip for it. I'm pretty sure I pointed that out in a video. But anyway, they're changing the tooltip now so that it says 12 seconds like it's supposed to. Okay. So for Barbarian in the Sentinel Paragon, the Crushing Advances... The damage reduction effect of Crushing Advance has been increased to 12 seconds duration. And it was 10 seconds before. And it's now a standard damage down effect. It does not stack with other sources of this standard damage down. I just don't really like how that's worded. And I had to dramatize it. Right, okay. I should have turned my webcam on for this, I think. Maybe you would get the full effect of my drama more. Anyway, the Vanguard Paragon of the Fighter. Apparently, Knee Breaker could unexpectedly cause a damage down effect on the target under certain conditions. I'm, I'm getting the feeling that damage down is how they are referring to a damage debuff internally, and they just left that in the patch notes. I am displeased. Actually, I don't really care, but, you know. Alright, so the companions. There's like two companion thingies. One's the Yojimbo, crazy ninja sword guy. His power was not actually working the way it was supposed to. Apparently before, it was actually increasing the damage taken by the target from all attacks by 10% or something, and now it actually just gives an additional 10% damage dealt to the companion for 5 seconds. And it now activates all the time instead of only sometimes, because he was lazy and sometimes didn't want to use his powers, and they basically just slapped him in the face and told him to get over it. Maybe I'm dumb, or maybe my brain is just foggy because I just woke up, but this other thing doesn't make any sense to me. 
Uh, they reduced the combat companion gam- death. <laughs> I really can't speak. Hold on, let me start over. They reduced the combat companion damage modifier bonus. I can't figure out what that means. I think I'm just dumb. Tell me in the comments about how dumb I am, please. <laughs> Actually, don't, because I know I, I already know I'm pretty dumb. I don't need to be told. All right, I really like how they worded this because one of the rings, striking ring of the veteran, has the wrong stat on it right now. But the way they worded it in the patch note makes it sound so much more fancy. Striking Ring of the Veteran unexpectedly featured armor penetration instead of critical strike. Find out more at 5. Uh, maybe I should do these kinds of videos more often. Okay. Okay, now here's a change I can get behind, but it still doesn't make up for the Paladin change, okay? The Lionheart weapon set bonus now also increases outgoing healing as well as outgoing damage. This pleases me a lot, but um, still not happy with them at the moment. Battle Horns no longer spams the player with error messages and can be unequipped. You know, I never tried to unequip one. What happens if I do that? Nothing. Maybe they don't mean this one. Okay. Okay, so here's a thing that I also kind of like because it was a little bit annoying. But if you revived someone and then canceled the revive, it would still give them revive sickness. And they fixed that, so yay. That was more of an issue before, I think, when people didn't like to be revived because they would use scrolls. But now scrolls give revive sickness too, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, moving on. So they swap the 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 these two things because I don't really know why, but they did. Oh. <laughs> the the PvP leaderboard. Apparently it is actually displaying, it's just underneath this. And then they fixed it. Okay, you're welcome. I'm sure. I'm sure everybody noticed this. I I totally did. All right. Well, um, that's actually basically it. Now I'm gonna go back to bed and cry about the paladin nerf. So do you see my paladin crying because of the nerf? All the nerfs. No. Well, you're not looking hard enough. Okay. Bye.